Amaterasu is probably my favorite jutsu in the entire Naruto series. There is just this awesomeness about black flames and how the characters use them. The themes behind Amaterasu are also interesting. First, Itachi gets the black flames that represent what he had to do to his own clan. Destruction, complete annihilation, that's what the black flames do. And that's what Itachi did. When Sasuke gets them, he gets the power to control them them because Sasuke gets the inherited hatred from the Lee village and what they did to Itachi but now he can direct it he can control it he can force it back against the Lee village and that's why he is able to control the black flames even though they may be misguided putting the thematics and the coolness of the jutsu aside it is also an extremely powerful jutsu that can only be used by the manga Kyosharingan that requires a lot of chakra attire you out it makes you feel pain when you use it but it's worth it because it's completely OP it is stated that the black flames burn hotter than the Sun and will not be extinguished up until their target is completely consumed it is also stated that the black flames are impossible to dodge so naturally a lot of people dodge it but still when people claim that in anime or manga it's not to say that the Amaterasu for instance will be completely impossible to dodge rather it's extremely difficult. And by the end of Naruto Shippuden, Amaterasu is nothing more than a little trinket Sasuke has. Before we analyze how this nerf happened, please subscribe and like this video to help me out. Thank you. Amaterasu is first introduced with Itachi when he has to escape Jiraiya's frog stomach. We don't see what Itachi does. We only hear this explosion and then there is this massive hole in the wall that's burning with dark fire. Really cool. Itachi then says, I had to use the Amaterasu to escape, so we learned the name of the technique, but that's about it. Jiraiya has to perform a special sealing jutsu that takes some while to prepare in order to seal the black flames, so we see, okay, this is a big deal. In Naruto Shippuden, we see Amaterasu again, with Itachi against Sasuke. He first uses Amaterasu to extinguish fire itself. Now, this is the best use of Amaterasu to depict its awesomeness. It's so hard it burns fire. It will extinguish everything it touches. Itachi then uses Amaterasu on Sasuke and Sasuke is only able to avoid it because of Orochimaru's hack substitution. But we can see the Amaterasu flames consuming the entire Uchiha hideout. Sasuke then awakens his Mangekyo and he also gets Amaterasu. He then uses it to one shot the second strongest tail beast. Yeah, that's pretty fitting for a jutsu as powerful as Amaterasu man. Also large things are very easy targets for Amaterasu because it's much harder to dodge and much easier to aim your eyesight to their direction. So the eight tail is just ugh, completely annihilated by it. One shot. And that was the last time Amaterasu was affected. <laughs> It's what happens, man. Amaterasu is that type of jutsu that's great for a villain, but it's difficult to handle when you give it to one of your main characters. Now, you could say Sasuke is a villain. I'm not here to debate that. But Sasuke is more prominent than, say, Itachi. Sasuke is a secondary protagonist. There are some arcs that are completely focused on Sasuke. So when you give a jutsu that so hacks to Sasuke, things get complicated, especially when Sasuke can now mold the black flames. In the Five Kage Summit arc, Sasuke uses Amaterasu against the Raikage and he employs an interesting strategy. He turns it into a shield so that the Raikage will have to punch through it and burn himself. It works! The Raikage has to dispose of one arm. Sure, Amaterasu is still burning, but we can see the heavily nerfing effects taking place already. Amaterasu consumed the entire body of the Eight Tails in a matter of seconds a couple of arcs before, and now it's taking ages to consume the Raikage's arm. Amaterasu, in part 1, when Itachi used it against the frog's stomach, was able to blast through the stomach of the frog, which is stated by Jiraiya to be very resilient and resistant to almost anything, so much so that nobody's ever escaped before. And it also burst through an entire wall of the hotel, and this happens in a split second. Itachi opens his eyes, boom! Boom, Amaterasu. There's a gaping hole in the wall. And now when Sasuke misfires his Amaterasu and hits
it's a samurai, it takes ages to consume the samurai's armor. It's so much slower and so much weaker to consume things now that Conqueror and Tamari have time to arrive in the battlefield and save that samurai from the black flames. They remove the samurai's armor and he is fine. Sure, he's a little bit shaken, but he's alive and he shouldn't be. Suits of armor about 1.5 millimeters thick. And it took ages for the Amaterasu to consume that, while Itachi's Amaterasu was able to break through the stomach and the wall in a split second. You could even try to argue that Itachi's Amaterasu was stronger and that's why he burst through the wall so quick. But Sasuke's Amaterasu also destroyed the tail beast, man, so it's the same character. And that Sasuke who fought Killer B is way weaker than Five Kage Summit Sasuke. Gara is then able to tank Amaterasu with his sand shield. Now the first important thing to point out is that Gara's shield shouldn't be fast enough to block Amaterasu because it wasn't fast enough to block base weightless Lee. Now sure you can argue Gara has improved and all that but Amaterasu is insanely fast and even if you argue that okay the sand shield blocks Amaterasu, Amaterasu should go through it because it went through the frog's stomach and it destroyed a tail beast in a matter of seconds. Sand should be nothing for Amaterasu but Gara is blocking Amaterasu with his sand as if it's just regular fire. Can you see how much weaker Amaterasu got? Now all of a sudden the only thing you need to block Amaterasu is a thin layer of any type of substance between you and Amaterasu. So what's even the point? Why was it nerfed so bad? Well it's because if Amaterasu worked how it used to then Sasuke would be the most OP character who would be able to one shot everyone. Think about it, Sasuke doesn't even use Inferno style flame control that well either. He could have done way better things with Inferno style controlling the Amaterasu flames. Imagine putting someone inside of an orb of Amaterasu fire. He could do that and it would be GG. You cannot escape from it. The only thing you can do is teleport if you are inside of a ball of Amaterasu. And yeah, Sasuke cannot be one-shotting everyone. His Amaterasu cannot consume someone else's body in a couple of seconds just like it did to the A-Tails. Back in the A-Tails fight, Sasuke used his Sharingan's Amaterasu for the first time and we all know that the first time a character uses a jutsu is gonna be the most powerful time that jutsu is ever used and the most effective as well therefore Amaterasu wasn't nerfed for that fight because in that fight Amaterasu was you could say the main attraction it was the pinnacle jutsu of the fight at the most important moment Sasuke opens his eyes shooting the dark flames at the eight tails and wins the fight but now when he is fighting these other opponents this is not what can happen from a writing standpoint. Sasuke cannot simply win by burning people to death. And that's why the Raikage can tank Amaterasu so easily and many other characters as well like Gara and the Samurai. We also get introduced to a nifty ability which is called Gakido. The Rinnegan's ability to absorb ninjutsu which is used a lot especially during the war arc. And Amaterasu is going to be very weak against that. It is also weak against Shinra Tensei. We see Nagato getting rid of the Dark Flame with Shinra Tensei, this shouldn't work because you're expelling the shockwave of the Shinra Tensei. You're not getting rid of the fire. The fire is going to still burn you. Now, when I say that Shinra Tensei shouldn't work against Amaterasu, I mean when Amaterasu is already burning the targets, like it was burning Nagato in the fight against Itachi Naruto and B. In that fight, we saw that Nagato could not react to Itachi's Amaterasu and do anything in time. He just got hit by it and got down. Kamoto then took over Nagato's body and used Shinra Tensei to expel spell the dark flames. However, that should not work. The Amaterasu should consume the target until it's completely destroyed. Gakido could circumvent that because it absorbs ninjutsu, but Shinra Tensei shouldn't. Now, I'll give you that if the Shinra Tensei user is fast enough to react to the Amaterasu coming at you, using Shinra Tensei before the Amaterasu hits the body should be a viable method to counter the Amaterasu, but if the Amaterasu is already burning you, then it shouldn't. Ninjutsu absorption would have been more credible, but then again, ninjutsu absorption is another one of those jutsus that kind of negates Amaterasu completely, though it negates everything else essentially, so it's fine, I suppose. Still, the main problem is that when we get to the war arc and Sasuke gets his eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, meaning he's not gonna get blind from using Amaterasu, he doesn't use Amaterasu nearly as much as he should have. He uses it a lot against white zetsus because yeah, you can one-shot white zetsus and that's not gonna be a problem in your story, but then when we get to important fights, then Sasuke kind of forgets
forgets he has a Matarasu. He used it against Kabuto only a couple of times and not in an offensive way. He uses it to destroy Kiromaru's web that Kabuto tosses against Itachi and Sasuke. And you may be saying that he wouldn't be able to use a Matarasu offensively against Kabuto because Kabuto could not be killed, otherwise they couldn't dispel the Edo Tensei. But remember, Sasuke can control his Amaterasu. He can turn the Amaterasu off before Kabuto dies. This is the exact strategy that Sasuke used against Killer B in a fight where Sasuke couldn't kill Killer B. It was the exact same win condition. Sasuke had to knock B out without killing him, and the Kabuto fight is essentially the same. Wouldn't this have been a very interesting strategy, a very valid strategy, as a matter of fact? Yeah, man, I'm just gonna hit you with the Amaterasu, and I'm, you're not gonna die from it, but you're gonna be severely hurt. Then Sasuke fights alongside Naruto, and yeah, sure, he uses the Amaterasu for a couple of times here in the war arc, especially to fuse his Amaterasu with the wind style Rasen Shuriken. But honestly, from a guy that can't control the dark flames, the only thing he does are arrows of Amaterasu, which is kind of lame. He could have done much more with it, but then get introduced to characters that completely block or just negate Amaterasu, like Jubito, Madara, who can just absorb it, and Kage, who simply doesn't work on her. Because of reasons. And yeah, it does work against the Ten Tails and the Ten Tails spawn, but it's not even that impactful, really. And there are situations where Sasuke could have just completely destroyed a fight or even prevented bad things from happening if he used the Madarasu properly. For instance, when Obito was being taken over by Zetsu and he was trying to become the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails while Madara was trying to make him use the Rina Tensei so that Madara could be revived, Sasuke is the closest one to Obito. He's the one trying to kill Obito before anything happens happens, and Sasuke shoots an Amaterasu arrow that Black Zetsu blocks with some Rinnegan rods. But why did you stop at the arrow and rushed Obito with a Chidori? Why didn't you envelop Obito with an Amaterasu sphere of death? You could have ended the war really, really soon, Sasuke, you just didn't really think of it. By the way, the Amaterasu arrow is something stupid in of itself. Why wouldn't Sasuke simply use regular Amaterasu instead of shooting an arrow at the target? because you can see an arrow coming at you and the Amaterasu it just spawns where you are it's much more difficult to dodge now you can argue that Sasuke Susano arrows are very fast because Danzo wasn't able to do anything against them except for dying a thousand times and Kakashi also had to use Kamui to block them but they could still see the arrow coming at them which is something but the Amaterasu it just appears where you are the Raikage was the only character that properly dodged an Amaterasu the other characters that negated it somehow used some sort of jutsu to block it or absorb it or anything else. So the Amaterasu arrow doesn't make sense unless Sasuke wants to fuse it with the Rasen Shuriken. Then it makes more sense, sure. But if you just want to shoot the black flames at the target, just use Amaterasu. You don't have to use an arrow. It's the same thing. Also, when Sasuke is using his Susano, why doesn't he always use a Susano sword laced with Amaterasu? He uses that against White Setsu the first time his Susano appears, and then he never uses it again. Imagine how OP an Amaterasu sword is, because every time you hit something, you also hit it with the Amaterasu, which is a very big problem. Sure, it's not as powerful now because he was nerfed, but you get the point. Even though it makes complete sense for him to use those abilities, he cannot, for the sake of power balance in the story, be that powerful. Otherwise, he would have beaten Naruto to in the valley of the end pretty easily. He doesn't use Amaterasu even once when they are fighting for real before they lose their powers, you know, before the big clash, even though it would have been very useful, especially if Sasuke had used Amaterasu on his perfect Susano sword while he was clashing with the Kurama avatar. He could have burned the Kurama avatar really, really quickly by landing the attacks because we can clearly see that the perfect Susano and the Kurama avatar are touching each other and pairing each other attacks many times over during that fight. And if the Susano sword was laced with the Madarasu, then the Kurama avatar would have been enveloped by the Dark Flames. Now you can mention the scene when Sasuke uses Bansho Tenning to pull all the Naruto clones and Naruto himself, and then he uses the Madarasu swords to pierce through all of them. However, that scene is not in the manga, it's a filler scene, and it makes no sense because Sasuke actually hits a Madarasu on Naruto, and Naruto's not even using his chakra cloak. So if Amaterasu was actually treated like Amaterasu was supposed to be in that scene in the anime, Naruto should have died there, but 
it's not canon, so nobody cares. And then when Sasuke actually used the Amaterasu in the fight, we can see how badly Amaterasu was nerfed again. A simple Kurama cloak, not KCM, nothing like that, just a base cloak, you know, the orange bubbles block the Amaterasu and negate it completely. This thing was able to tank normal fire, okay, sure, why not? But it was simply able to negate the dark flames of Amaterasu like nothing ever happened. Amaterasu was able to pierce through the frog's stomach, was able to swallow essentially everything. And the same Amaterasu that was able to destroy the eight tails in a matter of seconds cannot punch through the version 1 cloak. You just have to put a piece of paper in between you and the Amaterasu and you'll be fine now. And then in Naruto and Sasuke's final Chidori Rasengan clash, Sasuke laces his Chidori. Finally he laces something with Amaterasu. However, it is very much stupid because the Amaterasu does absolutely nothing. If Amaterasu was working in that scene like it was supposed to work in the beginning of the series, the Amaterasu Rasu would have destroyed, completely consumed Naruto's Rasengan, just like it consumed Sasuke's fireball in the fight against Itachi. However, Amaterasu doesn't work like that anymore. It's apparently just a power boost for the Chidori when it shouldn't be. Seriously, that clash should have been just a normal Chidori versus normal Rasengan. It would be completely fine. But no, you have to put Amaterasu there to just make the point that Amaterasu is a completely worthless jutsu now. Thank you. The Amaterasu nerf was the biggest nerf we've ever seen and it was because Sasuke inherited it. Because if Itachi had kept it and Sasuke had awakened some other ability then Amaterasu would have still be a very powerful jutsu but now in the end of Shippuden it's just a gimmick that Sasuke uses sometimes. And don't get me started on how they treated Amaterasu in Burrito because it's not canon so I just don't care. Watch this other video right here, subscribe to this channel, like this video if you enjoyed it and thank you so much much for watching.